Hello watcher and subscriber today we discuss about the types of polymorphism in java so there are basically two types static and dynamic static is known as compile time and dynamic is known as a runtime polymorphism so first we start with the compile time it means that it is resolved during the compile time your methods are resolved at the compile time and method overloading is the example for that so we see the example of overloading so you take one class and inside it if we have two method or more than two but their names are same written types are same like integer but only their parameters are different here we have two here we have one or either their data type should be different so here we have two parameter so here one so that get the concept of overloading and we discuss in previous tutorial also so for execution of this you take one class with the main method and take one object and by using that object you can run this method so here we have two values so it is matching with this one so you are getting 20 plus 10 30 and obj dot add 10 so this one value is matching with this one so you are getting 10 plus 10 20 so your output will be like that so in this program what happen we are using the common object for running this both method so these are resolved at the compile time so that's why it is a static polymorphism in the program now we will see the runtime polymorphism so here the it is known as a dynamic and dynamic polymorphism is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at the runtime that's why it is runtime because the methods are resolved at runtime and overriding overriding method overriding is the example of that so this one also we discussed in the previous tutorial so here we take one review so here this is the class having method x so here we have the second class b extends a that is what the derived class and we have the same method and showing the message y so both methods are same but only their code can be different so that is what overriding concept so for running this take one class with main method and take one object and by using the statement obj1.x it will run this method only and next one is obj2 is the object of b we are using obj2.x so it will run this method so different object we are using for running the same method so that's why it is resolved at the runtime okay so compiler identify which object you are using because the methods are same so for solving this it is resolved at the runtime that's why it is runtime polymorphism so in this gate you get the output x and y that you know how it is coming so the important point is method is to be executed based on type of object being referred at the time the call occurs so that's why it is determined at the runtime so it is runtime polymorphism so in this tutorial one thing you noted down compile time example is overloading method and runtime the example is overriding so you understood compile and runtime polymorphism so friend thanks for watching this tutorial thank you